Hi, I'm Carl. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Recently I went over a compartment organizer. This is another cantilever organizer that I purchased from Walmart. The other one was smaller than this. This is approximately double the size. So, I'm going to show you why I bought this one, what I'm going to use it for, and maybe give you some ideas on storing some of your things. I do appreciate you being here. Here is the Keter Pro Series Cantilever Toolbox 22. Pretty nice here. These are also sold in same sizes under different names. I know Home Depot sells one and it's uh, silver and black. I can't remember the, the name of theirs, but it looks exactly the same as this, but I don't think it's the same price. But construction wise, I believe it's the same exact model. Overall dimension on this, including the handles is 22 and a half by 12 by nine almost nine and a half inches deep has two four six eight top no three six nine eleven top containers and one big empty one right here. Now the top one, these on the side, this can be removed so you can have a bigger piece here. Slide that back in. This would be good for longer items of course. And the size of these trays or compartments are two and a quarter by almost three and a half by Two inches and you'll notice down here the tray bottom these these uh, compartments fit nicely on there so they don't slide at all there you go they don't slide pretty nice okay I'm gonna turn it this way so we get some better visuals on here it just slides cantilever you have a big tray in the bottom empty tray now the measurements on the inside of this is 18 and a half by at the smallest section right here or right here smallest section is nine and a quarter or at the larger piece nine and a half and depth wise it is six and three quarter inches, just under six and three quarter. So, really nice container here. Let me show you what I bought bought this for. Um, of course, this can be used for many, many, many different things. But let me show you what I bought it for. I have a lot of video accessories, so I have extra. XLR cables, uh, a few owner manuals, a little container of batteries, just odds and ends stuff. Here's more cables. Here's a, a hood for my external monitor. I have some uh, reflective tape. Some more cables here, a small Gorillapod, don't know why this is in here but it is, just odds and ends stuff and in the top it's going to be used for, I'll turn it this way now, I am going to, such as I have a microphone, I'm going to put right there. I have 
just some assorted nuts and bolts and what have you right there. I have some hot shoe mount, cold shoe mount, whatever you call those things. I have one of these uh, HDMI adapters and a cable to go with it. I've got three remote controls for my cameras. Fit right there real nicely. There we go. One's for my monitor and two are for my cameras. Let's see here, what else can we put in there? I've got another microphone I can put right here. A couple of these adapters right here. They'll fit nicely right there. Got a mini ball head. That's a good place for it. And also, this is a good place to keep some batteries. Got some batteries here. Got some battery chargers. Got another ball head we can just throw in there. A couple more smaller batteries. All kinds of stuff we can put in here. Unlimited uses. So, if you've got a need for something like this, I would urge you to go run down to Walmart, check them out. I got this one on sale for $16.96, I believe. Something around that area. It's going to be good for what I have planned for it. My name is Carl. I do appreciate being with us today.